Hey, what's going on? It's Pat the Rock. And we've been here at the facility for about a year now. I mean, we got a lot of kids. We got kids from all over the United States, all over the globe, you know. So basketball is a global thing, man. We just want to get them a chance to come in and learn, you know, from guys like Quinn, you know, who take their time out and give back. I mean, that's, that's the most important thing. It's real simple. One sentence. The whole mission of my academy is to change lives one bounce at a time. You know, basketball gave me a chance to travel the globe. And, you know, God bless me with this gift, so I got to give back. I think hard work um, really took my took my game to the next level. I think, um, you know, I always loved the game, but I never really dedicated myself to the game and made sacrifices. And, uh, you know, I started learning from guys like Pat The Rock, um, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, guys, you know, who, who I've been watching since I was, you know, a, a young kid. And, and I took their words of encouragement. You know, it had to be different. You have to sacrifice. And uh, you know, as I started doing that, I started seeing myself get better. And, uh, you know, success uh, is addicting. And I got addicted to it. And, um, you know, I just kept working. Out of all the people that I've trained, you know, I say off the top of my head, you know, Quinn is, you know, definitely at the top of that list between him and Skylar Diggins, you know, for girls and boys, the two hardest workers I've ever seen. And it just goes to show you why he's so successful at what he does. And he's a great mo role model, great leader. And, you know, he's always asking, man, you know, how can I get better? What can I do? And, you know, guys like that deserve everything, man. They deserve it. Yeah, this is my fifth year working with uh, Pat. Um, you know, uh, I first met him in the airport. Uh, I was about 12, 13 years old, and I was dribbling the ball. And he came up to me. He said, "You'll be special one day." And uh, you know, you know, with social media, we clicked back up. And before I went to Duke, you know, I started working out with him. And, and he's taking my game to the next level. You know, each summer and, and, and each time I come back home, we always get in the gym, and he's taking my game to another level. And the biggest thing is not just the gym, just, just him talking to me outside, just believing in myself. And I'm not having a big, a good game, you know, always, you know, move on, always believe in yourself, um, stretching, you know, eating the right things. Um, you know, I can't eat candy or nothing when I'm with him. So it's tough, but it always pays off. And, uh, you know, he's helped me tremendously. That's why I always, you know, come back and, and, and try to help, help him out as much as I can. One thing I always tell my kids, uh, three simple letters, AIP, that stands for anything is possible because the message will take you way further than the moves, you know? Dream big and never give up. Yeah, it's simple. I mean, anything is possible. Like like Pat always preaches, um, you know, he, I saw that on his Instagram a couple years ago and, and I fell in love with it. I mean, you know, I didn't think I would be here. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't think I would be here. You know, I'm a, I'm a kid from down the street and, and I believed in something. I, I had a dream and, uh, you know, I, I started chasing it and, and I became addicted with, you know, success. and. Uh, you know, I just stay focused. I stay focused. I listen to my peers. Um, I, I listen to people who, who were in positions where I wanted to be. And uh, I just stayed away from the nonsense. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why I tell kids, I mean, you know, you want to hang out with, with, with people, you know, you, you know, you want to associate yourself with. So if you're in school, if you want to be a straight-A student, you got to hang out with the straight-A students. You, you can't hang out with the, the C and B guys. And, uh, you know, you got to be different. You know, humble and hungry is the biggest thing that I learned from Coach King. He's always preached that to me. Um, you know, he, he's coached the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryant's, the, the Kevin Durant's, the LeBron's, and you know, all those guys at the top of their game, and they always find ways to get better. So that's when you get the hungry part. And uh, you know, humble. You know, anything can happen at any moment. You know, the ball can 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 be taken away from you at any step. So you know, you always want to be humble and, and just thank God and thank everybody. You know, for the blessings that you receive and for everybody who's helping you. That's why. You know, I always tell Pat thank you after every time he texts me after a good game, after every workout we do, I always tell him thank you because, you know, he could be doing, you know, something better, but he's always want to give back, and that's what I want to do is give back, so. Uh, you can go to www.patterockacademy.com to sign up. That's P-A-T-T-H-E-R-O-C, academy.com. We also on Instagram at Pat the Rock, P-A-T-T-H-E-R-O-C. What's up, this is Quinn Cook. We want to say what's up to Stereo Champions. 